You see this guy here? He understands that he has a very fast car with lots of torque and power. What he does not understand is... Physics. Hello, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to the diaries. That's right, it's the diaries today. Dark Slate Diaries, I'm sure you've been here before, and I'm sure you'll be back again. Well, I'm hoping you will, because we need subscribers. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell button. I'm saying that before you even know what's going on. So, just, just you know, just subscribe. What difference does it make? doesn't matter. I do not charge for this site. I don't have commercials on Well, I don't have commercials on it. Lord knows if YouTube's going to throw some on here now, but... If you get commercials from YouTube, that's, I'm sorry. That's, that's not my fault. That's some um, greedy little twerp and accounting. Say, hey, let's just take everybody's stuff and put commercials in it. Because I know everybody would rather watch commercials. No, we don't want to put damn commercials. Anyway. And uh, I have no Patreon page for this or anything like that. So just, just subscribe. Subscribe, dadgummit. You know, maybe we can get our subscriptions all the way up to like 117. It's at 115 right now. Today is the 28th of November. And when you get to the end of November, or November for people who pronounce it correctly, it's, uh, it usually means that December is coming up next. Well, it's the 28th and it's Friday, or it's Saturday rather. And I went out and I picked up a few things. I I'm just getting started with this, and I got to get this intro out of the way so I can go and do the rest of it. But I got some revolves, and these are for the interior where my uh, pictures are because of the haunted mansion hamor. I need to Christmasify because I ain't taking it down. That's for darn sure. Not after all the work I put into it. So I got that. I got the lighter. I got a little little hat. This is, you're supposed to put it on your pet and demoralize it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the hat off and put it on Maximilian's head, demoralize him instead. But Maximilian's okay with being, you know, Christmasified because, well, he's a dragon, he has his dignity, and he's made out of plaster, so it's not like he's going to complain about it too much. So I'm going to do that, and um, I bought batteries, just in case I want to get a charge out of something. I have a mask from earlier today. Let's get rid of that. Um, so I need to pick up some garlands, some lights, and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out. I'm going to go to Home Depot because I have a light that burned out over in the music room. i got to replace that. So while I'm there, I'm going to look and see what uh, kind of Christmassy stuff they have. Hopefully I'll find some of the stuff there. Hopefully not too expensive. Hopefully it's not going to happen. I mean, probably it's not going to happen. Then I'm going to grab some, uh, I'm thinking of uh, uh, going to Cane's, raising Cane's and getting some chicken to tide me over because my dinner is going to be late tonight. And um, then I'm going to go over to Habe La Bay and look into getting some garlands and getting some lights and some things for Christmas. Because my lights, <laughs> aside from the fact that they're all tangled and wadded and I never know which ones are good or bad, I'm just tossing them. I want to get new lights. I'm going to try not to go crazy and get, you know, five miles worth of lights. I'm going to get a few. And they're going to be LED so my electric bill doesn't go right through the ceiling. Which it did last year and the year before that. And last year I didn't put that much out. So there you go. And uh, then, you know, some other little things. And uh, then I'm going to come home and take the bags and put them down and probably not even look at them until next weekend. No, that's not true. I'm kidding. This is stuff I'm going to be working on between now and Monday. So, I think that's about as much intro as you're going to get. Because I don't know what else is going to go on this. We will see. So, without any further ado, let's get going. Sometimes 
sometimes I miss the carb mystery. Not often, but sometimes. But then Unhinged, I remember now available at Red Bar. Then I remember that Car Mystery had a few problems. Like the door handle was missing. It didn't have you know, it doesn't have Bluetooth, so I can't play my music or couldn't. Not that that mattered at the time. I had a tape deck in there. Yeah, it's right, a tape deck. It's a little car. And uh, it had no AC. It's been a long time with no AC. It's not fun. So, oh, there we go. First stop is going to be Home Depot. Yikes, sorry about that. singer sounds a little young, it's because I'm listening to uh, OMF, which is O'Keefe Musical Productions, or OMF, O'Keefe Musical Foundation. And so, this is kind of like what Waiting for Waffles was originally like, which is where there's teachers who teach kids how to play rock, it's like a school of rock, and then they record it, and they don't charge for recording songs if you're in classes or not in classes, they don't charge you for that. Um, recording songs and making videos, which I could afford to do that. I tried very hard not to knock you over. So anyway, um, oh my neck is so sore. You're stiff, right? So get you over. Anyway, um, so we're on our way to Home Depot because this is not good! And I have to get one that is good. Oh, what's next? More O'Keefe. Oh, this is pulling me under, and I'll tell you what, this is a Dream Theater song, so it's not easy to do, and these guys nailed it. But I'm not going to play it here. If you want to see it, go on, uh, on, you're on YouTube right now, of course. Look up O'Keefe Musical Foundation, or OMF, and uh, you'll find all their videos. They're very impressive. Um, and they had lights and they had garlands and stuff like that here at Home Depot, but oh my lord are they expensive, so we're going to go to, we're going to go to Hobby Lobby. A lot of people are out doing it today, man, so I don't know how far I'm going to get on getting what I want to get. I'm going to get some, uh, a little a couple of chicken strips to tide me over. And then we're going to head over to Home... No, not Home Depot. We're leaving Home Depot. We're heading over to Hobby Lobby. Okay. I'm at Hobby Lobby. And the parking lot is pretty full. So, yikes. And here we go. Well, it's pretty busy in there, but they didn't have half of what I was looking for. And the place I should go to is at home, but you know what? I'm done for the night. Today is November 30th, the Monday after Thanksgiving. More commonly given the new name, Cyber Monday. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. So this is what I'm doing on my Cyber Monday. I'm taking my uh, vehicle of adventure down to the car wash, and I'm going to cyber clean it with cyber water. I'm going to cyber all over the place. And uh, then I'm going to come back home. <laughs> and i uh, got stuff to do around here. I'm working on the um, 
music, I'm sorry, I'm working on the video, music video, for um, Waiting for Waffles' newest release. And hopefully I'm going to have that done tonight. Also, you know what I'm doing right now? <laughs> I'm editing the previous episode. That's right. You've already seen it. But at this moment, I'm editing it. Editing it. And, um, yeah, it's a pretty tight one, I guess. I don't know. If you like it or not. If you do, subscribe! Or did I say that earlier? I said that earlier. Well, I'm saying it again. Subscribe! For crying out loud. And, uh, if I can think of anything else, I'll tell you. Oh, I did get stuff for inside. So, let's, uh, do some of that also. But first, I'm gonna cybercar. Uh, cybercar my wash. Yeah. You know, uh, it seems to me that four years ago I didn't have this much trouble saying things that I do nowadays. Because... No, I had the same amount of trouble. I found out something interesting about these lights. These lights over my shoulder. These lights all go out at the same time. Finished! All at the same time. I had one go out. As I was replacing it, another went out. And then when I replaced that, the first one went out again. I grabbed a bad one, apparently. And then the last one went out. They just thought they all went out. I don't get it. I guess it's the type of lights they are. It's my guess, anyway. But it all went out. I had to buy a pack of three. And I know I have two floating around here somewhere. And I didn't have to buy... Well, actually, I did have to buy a pack of three. Because I had to replace one of them twice. They all go out at the same time. I have, like, eight pairs of glasses. And all of them are nowhere. So I finally found a pair. And I have these on because we got some junk mail today. I opened up my mailbox and whew! Now, I know which is junk mail and which isn't junk mail because of the way they stack it in the mailbox. I know, for instance, that this is a bill. I don't know what that's all about. And uh, I know that this is an advertisement from Finger Hut because they're always trying to get me to do something. This says to the order of instead of pay to the order of, and we all know about that one. So, I thought I'd open this one. Now, I started to open it already, and I thought, you know what, maybe I should wait until uh, I get in front of the camera so we can do this. Now, it's from MSDS. See, they didn't even bother to say who they were. They just threw some initials up there. MSDS, Microsoft dumb, stupid, or something like that, I don't know. The, uh, multi-scenario distribution services, or something like that. Let's see what we got here. MSDS. Oh, it stands for MSDS, <laughs> apparently. Let's see. I can't open it. Here we go. Oh, this is not a bill, it says. Damn right it's not a bill, because I don't owe anybody nothing, especially in Tampa, Florida. What is this? You are approved for a freaking stinking credit card. You're approved for a credit card balance settlement program with eligibility to enroll between blah and blah for an estimated set-aside payment of only blah per month. Well, blah! How about that? This is like only the 573rd one of those I've gotten. So that wasn't much fun. Got one here from a name we all recognize. Let's see what they want. What do you think? They want to give me a... Give me an account started or some dumb thing. Let's see. I ripped that one open big time. Let's see. Exclusive plan. Extraordinary iPhone, never mind. All right. To the order of. This has always been my favorite. To the order of. In one of these really expensive envelopes. So let's see what this one is. Doesn't say it's from anyone. Oh, financial offer enclosed. They didn't even bother to hide it this time. See? Financial offer enclosed. So we already know what this is. I don't even know why I'm bothering to open it. Maybe it's because I feel since they spent so much money on these rather expensive 
envelopes, mailing things that I should at least open it. Let's see. Congratulations! Hooray for me! <laughs> well, they congratulated me. You have been pre-approved, when we know what that means, for $24,103 consolation line of, consolidation line of credit. Well, consolation, you get a congratulations for a consolation as well. Uh, let's see. One low fixed monthly payment. Zero percent for 12 months. Boy, and after that 12 months, they stick it right up your backside. So, uh, n minimum payment would be $120 a, $120 a month. Uh, I don't think so. I think we'll just keep paying our bills like all good bill payers do. You are really blurry. Oh, that's better. Whew. It was a rough day at work today, too. I was there for about three hours. That's it. Three hours, and uh, I can't even remember what I did. That's how rough the day was. Okay, well, we're done with that. Let's get on to other things. I've got some of the lighting out there on the fence, outside, out in front, out there, out on the side, with the fence, in the front, anything. I have some of the lighting out there. Um, and it's actually the third, no, it's the fourth of December. And I'm like <laughs> pretty way behind when it comes to decorating. So, um, this is what I did. I got, watch this, I'm going to disappear, but instead of going off to one side, I'm going to go down. Oh, getting back up is not so easy anymore. I got these. They're, um battery operated and they're little LED lights see oh whoop, can't see it there you go yeah, the light okay now there's a hundred lights on this and it's the width of the fence right outside the adventure land porch now the one thing I did not know about these lights which I discovered later and it's very cool is whereas they do have a whole bunch of different functions they're on a timer, so they shut themselves off because Lord knows I'm going to forget. So um, I'm going to put another set. I'm going to go up the lamp post with it because these are battery operated, so I do not have to plug them into nothing. And I got the batteries for it, so that's what I'm going to do now. I am very dizzy. I've got this Klaus fellow. He doesn't look anything like Kurt Russell, but he's sitting here on top of a speaker. So he gets them higher than the, the fence. Now I have another set of lights. And um, I want to take these lights and uh, do something around the Klaus here so he lights up a little bit. Now I had a light. I had one of these, that I've, you've seen them before, that I've used before, but um, they have to be turned on and off manually, where these light up automatically. Also, the battery is very low on it. These things do burn through batteries. So, I'm thinking I might take these lights and put them around the speaker and bring it up to where he is, except this is below the fence line, so you can't really see it all that much. And whereas, you know, you'd be able to tell that their lights are because they light up, they just wouldn't cut the cheese. Cut the cheese, that's all I meant. Just Santa is not sitting on a solid, very solid surface here. I don't want to glue them down. Might have some double-sided tape. 
But now I gotta figure out what to do. I didn't say lights. Do with these. So now I could wrap these. Actually, wrap them around Santa, but then it would look more like a Christmas bondage thing, and we don't want that. Okay, um, you can't tell from that angle, and you can't really see because the light on here. Let me go ahead and go like this, and you really still can't tell too much. But the lights look all right. But I think I'm gonna take a trip to that place. Hobby Lobby, you need some more of these. The ones that are on here, maybe one or two. And uh, not to get more batteries. And kind of put them along the rim on the inside so they light up into here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Well, you can at least see that it's Santa Claus in there now, more or less. Next set of lights, I think, is going to go around <laughs> Maximilian and maybe some up there for uh, Boris. So I went to get more lights and I found them less expensive at. Where did I find them at? Oh, Walmart. Yeah, that's the way I feel about it, too. I'm opening Christmas presents from my drummer. Oh, look! It's a duplicate of me. Cool. <laughs> and I got a hat. This is what Christmas means to me. Putting a shiny bag on your head. <laughs> so I got uh, Lindor Irresistibly Smooth Milk with White Milk Chocolate Truffles. Milk with White Milk And a whole bag of marshmallows which will go right in the pooper. But a bag of hot chocolate to go in my collection. My drummer's here. He's swinging back and forth, but he's afraid to get in front of the camera. So, um... I'm not. Maybe he's not that afraid to get in front of the camera. I don't mind telling you. This is... one of my video box. I don't mind telling you that I appreciate gifts from my kids, my acting kids, and my music kids more than they know. But I got to tell you, my drummer today was on fire. He did an incredibly good job. And if you listen to the song, which should already be out, then you will know, because you'll hear it. And I won't have to thrund, thrund the word that I'm using this bag as your cranial any longer. So there you go. Well, it's Christmas Eve. And, uh... I'm actually sitting on my couch, which means in about 30 minutes I'll be able to stand up again. Because this couch is like, <laughs> it's almost not a couch, it's almost just a cushion on the floor, but no, it's, it's a couch, it's just very low. Anyway, it's Christmas Eve, and I've got a little bit more wrapping to do. This is the way I wrap things. I get one of these bags, and I go, plop, ha, wrapped, how about that? That's how I'm doing it this year. This year was a little weird. And probably because of the COVID thing more than anything else. But also the fact that I didn't have room for my tree. So I have this little tiny tree. Which I showed you a few episodes back. And uh, it's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> it, it, to say it's not the same is kind of like... You know, it's kind of a pointless statement. Because nothing about this year, Christmas, feels the same or feels right. Uh, coupled with the fact that my mother passed away uh, a few days ago and uh, it's been weighing on my mind I haven't 
haven't really done much, but I know my mother would be pissed at me if I just sat around and did nothing. So I'm finishing up this episode. And I'm also very upset that we did not get to go out to Zoo Lights this year. Um, and the next episode will be coming out next year, obviously. Um, and uh, we're going to try to... And I say this every year. We're going to try to make some changes. We're going to do this and that and the other thing. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Because since um, Kid Stuff Films, the full-length feature part of Kid Stuff Films is closing down, I'm going to have a little extra time. And so I may be able to get to some of the other things that we used to do that we just haven't done in a long time. We will see what happens. And it'll be less of just me yammering at you. Not a heck of a lot less. It's my V-blog. If I want to yammer at you, I yammer. It's up to you if you want to listen or not. So, um, I'm going to end this episode right here. End this year, 2020. A year that just sucked. Every way you look at it, up and down, it was a piece of crap. And uh, hopefully 2021 will be better. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great week. And a wonderful holiday season. End of line.